Hi everybody, my name is John of JDups Millinery and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've seen me on the internet, hi, I am John, welcome to my channel. We talk about hats, we talk about everything to do with millinery, mainly tutorials, but that's gonna change. I'm gonna got a few minutes things coming up in the pipeline. Um, so if you, ha if you are new, hi, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when you release videos in future. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, and tell everybody about me. So let's crack on. This video is still fabulous. However, I was going through my stash because I'm moving again. So I'm staying in Sydney, don't worry. But I am moving, so I've been packing everything up again. And I came across some things that I forgot I had. And because I'm moving, my blocks are in boxes and everything's everywhere. So I wanted to like pull some bits together to make something. And well, you can see from the, I, why do I do this every time? You can see from the thumbnail exactly what we're about to make. So I have this beautiful butterfly garden headpiece, we're gonna call it. And the beauty of this is the butterflies were stiffened with resin. So yes, we're using resin. And it's something that I'm looking to experiment a bit more with as well. And I've just realized there's one there at the back. So it has a pin in it. So I forgot to sew that one down. Oh, so if you want to see how I made this, let's get started. Let's start with the butterflies. I'm going to note that before I start, you can use PVA glue to do this. However, I had the resin in my stash and I kind of wanted to play around with it. So you will need to get some fabric lace butterflies, either cotton or polyester will work. I'm using these polyester lace butterflies I sourced on wish.com, which reminds me, if you do want me to do a wish haul and see what you can get from wish in terms of millinery supplies, leave me a comment below. I will also link to alternative lace butterflies in the description box. To trim the butterflies and lay them on a silicone mat, and this is a must if using resin as the resin doesn't stick to silicone. If you don't have a silicone mat, you could use a bit of hard plastic, the type I use in a little bit to shape the wings. Just a quick health and safety warning I would strongly suggest you wear a mask and gloves with resin. I did wear a mask, but it was just a paper mask, which was fine for the small amount I was working with. However, I didn't wear any gloves and I really should have. I'm using this UV resin, which is something I got as part of a kit, which will be linked in the description box as well. As this kit came with a UV light, which is how you cure the resin to make it hard. I squirted a small dot on each part of the wing and using a paintbrush, I brushed the resin over the butterfly. It will absorb a little, which is what we want. Then using a bit of hard plastic and this is from a food takeaway container which was washed, make yourself a tent shaped fold as shown. Lay the butterfly on the fold and using your fingers, push the wings down. It won't stick to the plastic, but it will give the butterfly the illusion that it's in flight once it's dried. Now you need to plug in your UV lamp and set your butterflies under the lamp and cure for around a minute and a half. This lamp has a 45 second timer, so I let it run twice under the lamp. Only add resin to the butterflies you are putting onto the folded plastic as if the UV light hits it, you will cure it. And this also applies to the brush too. Make sure you move your brush away from the lamp before you cure anything. I just want to take a quick 30 seconds to just quickly remind you about Patreon. Patreon is a service where fans and subscribers can make small monthly donations to creators like myself to help the running of this channel and it's people like Patreon spots who will enable me to take this channel even further. There are no sponsorships on this channel. I don't get any ad revenue from this channel. So pretty much it's, um, it's just a way for me to push this channel even further than it currently, currently is. There is an obligation. Tiers start from one pounds per month. And if you, they've changed it recently to show it in local currencies as well. So that is all in the description box below. And let's carry on with this video. 
once you have enough butterflies made, you could make some flat butterflies as I am here using the silicone mat to hold while curing. I went in ahead and added some fuchsia chatons to the butterfly using a dot of resin to hold into place and curing for another minute and a half. These chatons that I'm using are from Blue Streaks Crystals in the size SS24 which are just over 5mm wide and have a beautiful brilliant cut. Now to assemble the hat. Here I'm using an oval cinema fascinator base from Petersham's in Cerise and positioning it where I want it. Then I went ahead and sewed the, the base to the headband, which is also from Petersham's. I'm actually positioning this base backwards um, because on Petersham's it shows the lip at the front and I wanted the lip at the back of the hat, so this is why it's backwards. Next, I spent some time arranging this gorgeous silk backer from Be Unique Millinery onto the base. And what I was trying to do was figure out what looks good and what pl looks pleasing to the eye. Um, I made sure I hid the sides of the backer in the fold so I didn't actually have to sew the raw edges down. This is the backer in lime green from Be Unique and it is 20 Australian dollars per half meter. Once that was positioned, I sewed it onto the base and sewed any sections which touched to give the abaca some extra support. And then finally, I just pinned the butterfly around the hat, ensuring that I spaced out the butterflies which had chatons added to them before filling out any that didn't have any chatons. And then these were sewn into place just using white thread, which I thought would match the butterfly itself. There you go. Like it's it's like kinda of, kind of a mixture of millinery techniques and um, you know, decorating because you know using a base, pre-made base, isn't necessarily millinery in my eyes. Like that's this isn't this is millinery section in a department store, but this to create this isn't technically millinery. Fight me, I know, but I still wanted to make something kind of still fabulous, still a little bit what I do and um, take it a little bit further. And resin as well, I'm going to be playing around with this resin a, a, a quite a bit. It's, it's got quite a few potential. So we'll see what we can come up with that. I just wanna quickly, I've, I've got a couple of messages this week um, asking me to do a specific type of video. And it's like a picture of a hat with, can you show me how to make this? So, yes, to a degree. The only time I take specific um, video ideas is from my Patreon subscribers from tier three and above. The reason why I do that is be purely because it's a, it's a, it's a reward from a, a certain tier and above from my Patreon people. So, I just don't think it's fair that I'll do it for anybody when they get it as part of a donation to me. So, you know, that's why. So if, if I don't respond to messages regarding, can you make this type of hat? That's the reason why. I will only accept them through Patreon. So I hope that clears up any confusion. Like always, links to everything will be in the description box below, as well as links to the resin kit that I used, links to my subscription box server which is still up and running and also links to my social media including Patreon. So if you do want to help this channel it's all down there below. So if you like this video make sure you leave me a like, a comment and or a subscribe and that lets me know that you want to see these types of videos in future. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.